Welcome to another episode of the Big Lee's Corner. Alright, first of all, I want to start off by saying, and uh, hopefully I was only doing this on wrestling segments, and that I didn't do it on any racing-related segments. However, I was sponsoring uh, t-shirts at uh, Teespring. Well, anyway, they're not available right now. I don't know if the K-Dog had them pulled or if the, the company had them pulled, but they're not on the site right now. But I'll see what's going on later. For now, this is about Fast Lane. 2019, March the 10th. My first ex's birthday, I might add. So happy birthday to her. But anyway. Oh yeah, and I'm going to have this episode uploaded an hour earlier because I already got an episode up for 5.30 today, so... I will have two episodes up today for my main channel only. For my wrestling channel, this is going to be the only episode. Alright, first of all, the kickoff match. New Day, Big E, and Xavier Woods versus Shinsuke Nakamura and Rusev. You know, at first I was having thoughts about Nakamura and Rusev winning, but knowing uh, Rusev, probably going to continue to get buried, so I'm going to say New Day's got this one. Other kickoff match, Rey Mysterio versus Adrade. I think that's how they say his name. And that's a good question. Who do I think is going to win? Well, uh, for the hell of it, I'm just going to say Adrade. Raw Tag Team Championships. Uh, the Revival. Uh, I mean, they're the champions. Versus Aleister Black and my old pal Ricochet. Versus uh, Chad Gable and Bobby Reed, the Rubles, triple threat match. I might say the Revival's going to retain. SmackDown Women's Championship, Asuka versus Mindy Rhodes. Asuka will probably win by disqualification if interference by Sonny Deville. Assuming Sonny Deville is still aligned with Mindy Rose. The Women's Tag Team Champions, uh, Sasha Banks and... Bailey, Boston Hug Connection versus Slaughterhouse, Nia Jackson, Tamina Snooker. Hmm. I'm going to say Slaughterhouse might win the belts. Sometimes I've been wrong before about the belts not changing hands on Fast Lane or Elimination Chamber, but it does happen at times, so this might be one of those times. Now, SmackDown Men's Tag Team Champions and the Usos versus McMiz, Shane McMiz, Shane O. McMiz. Well, yeah, excuse me all my name, names, but anyway, the Miz and Shane McMahon. Hmm. I'm just going to say the Usos win at that. I'm not going to say either one's going to turn heel between Miz and Shane. Maybe a miscommunication. I failed to remember Miz's dad is supposed to be at ringside. Maybe Miz's dad will call Shane the match, and Miz's dad will do a heel turn instead. Okay, The Shield versus Baron Corbin, Drew McIntyre, and Bobby Lashley. I might just say... Yeah, I might say Baron Corbin's team's going to win. By pinning Dean Ambrose. Let me see. I'm going to say Lashley's going to pin Dean Ambrose to win the match. Charlotte Flair versus Becky Lynch. If Becky wins, she gets added to Raw Women's title match at WrestleMania. Well, I obviously kind of see Becky winning. The only question is how. Pinfall, disqualification, submission. But no, maybe by pinfall. And WWE Champion Daniel Bryan, which I admit is the coolest WWE belt I've seen recently. I don't care what people say about that wooden belt. I think it's the coolest thing yet. Versus Kevin Owens. Unfortunately, I see Daniel Bryan retaining. and That's kind of the bad news because I like to see Owens have that belt. But good news is <laughs> that means the wooden belt will last a bit longer. But yeah, Daniel Bryan might win. Hear that or maybe a double disqualification. But some one way or another, Daniel Bryan is still going to hold on to that belt. 
But yeah, possibly a triple threat match with Kofi at WrestleMania. Speaking of Kofi, no Kofi. I don't know what he's up to. Probably out injured or something. Anyway, that's all for this episode of Big Lee's Corner. I'll try to have a nice day. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more.